this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today I have a guest who is going to be playing with me. Uh, we're doing Age of Sigmar at 2,000 points. I'm going back to my roots and playing my Sylvaneth, my first Age of Sigmar army, and you are playing... The Caradron Overlords, Sky Dwarves! I, oh, that reminds me, I'm also playing one little dwarf <laughs> against the dwarves, Gotrick Gurnison. I had to add him to my army and try Traitor! <laughs> Here is my Sylvaneth army of 2,000 points, well, 1980 really. Um, I have got my Tree Lord Ancient, who's my uh, general, and he is part of, well, the uh, glade that I'm using is Gnarl Root, so he has the command trait, uh, Nurtured by Magic, and, but the Chalice of Nectar I gave to uh, someone else. And uh, then he had, these are the two command, uh, these are the uh, Shield of Arcane abilities and the command ability that I have at my disposal being a Gnarl Root Blade. I gave him the Silken Snares artifact, uh, which takes place of the Gnarl Root Warrior command trait once upon a time. So the Silken Snares artifact gives him, uh, if a attack against him would be at Ren minus one. It is instead at Ren zero. Uh, here is my tree lord. He's just a mon um, behemoth. Yes, you see him. There's Gatrick Gurnison coming to help out the Sylvaneth. And I have two groups of Kurnath hunters with uh, great bows. The Huntmaster is there and there. I have one five-man group of Tree Revenants and uh, the Scion also is using an enchanted blade. I do have waypipes and a glade banner in there. I have a 10 group of Dryads and a 20 group of Dryads. And lastly, I have my Branch Witch. She's holding the um, glade artifact Chalice. And oh yes, for her spell I chose Verderous Harmony and for his spell, I chose Verderous Harmony. I believe that's everything chosen. Alright, that's my army. And hailing from the skyport of Barrack Zilfin, these are the independent contractors. Let's start with the ships. This is my Ironclad with an Aethermatic Volley Cannon. And it is equipped with the Aethospheric Endrons. So that's going to allow me to deep strike. We've got two gun haulers with uh, sky cannons, and we have my frigate, also with a sky cannon. We've got a unit of sky wardens, uh, one with pike and pistol, one with aethermatic volley cannon, and one with drill cannon. We've got a unit of riggers with saws and pistols, three units of arcanauts, each with ten men. Uh, one with one sky, uh, sky hook and one cannon, one with three sky hooks, and one with three volley cannons. A five mana unit of thunderers, two rifles, one cannon, one fumigator, one deck sweeper. Two chemists, one with the uh, aether sight loop, and we have our admiral, who is my general, and he has the command trait. Uh, Fleet Master. So, uh, before the first round, I'll be able to redeploy any one of my ships. And at 1,910 points, that is my army. So, our battlefield is this. Our, our, our uh, battle plan was shifting objectives. That's on uh, page 67 of the General Handbook 2019. Our objectives are dragon's eggs laid out there. Yeah. So now we're going to uh, deploy and we'll be right back. The board. Patrick Gurnison, my tree lord and my tree revenants are in this corner. Uh, my two 
groups of Karnath hunters with great bows are right next to my True Lord Ancient. And my 20 group of dryads plus my 10 group of dryads and my uh, branch witch are all here in this area. And so, first we have, in the Aether Sphere, we have the Arcanaut Ironclad. We've got the unit of 10 Arcanauts with one Skyhook, one Aethermatic Volley Cannon. Unit of Endrin Rakers with Saws, the Chemist with the Aether Sight Loop, and we have the 5-man squad of Thunderers. Then we have our 10-man squad of Arcanauts with the Skyhooks. We've got our Chemist, the Gun Hauler. We've got the Freight, which has my Admiral and my Sky Wardens. We have 10 mana unit of Arcanauts with the three cannons. And we have the other Grunsock Run Hauler. One, two, three, four, five, six for our shifting objective. Mm -hmm. Five, six. So that one will give you three victory points, while the other two give you one victory point each for this round. And we also have to roll initiative. Six. Oh, would you like to go first or second? I would like to go first. Fleet Master allows me, before the first round begins, to redeploy him, but he's going to stay where he is. So, beginning of the hero phase. Down from the Aether Sphere mm -hmm. comes the Ironclad. So, I'll put you down here for a minute. And then we will get nine inches away. Okay, everybody, we've arrived at our destination. Local time is round one. We <laughs> thank you for uh, choosing to fly with Air Caradron. So, now that we're still in the hero phase, let's do some hero stuff. Oh my goodness, I have no units that can move in the hero phase. That, that's, that's powerful. He is going to augment their saws, so they have plus one attack each. And... He's going to augment their Skyhook, so they have plus one attack each. And as well, because this is the flagship, uh, he gets to uh, give orders. We're going to make every shot count. So all my ships get to reroll ones in the shooting phase. This one's going to run because I'm Barak Zilfin. That means they get to run, they get to count as a six. So that's 16 inches. And because there's an Admiral on board, I can run and shoot. Mm. We're going to go our 12 inches. Put you right outside the bush. Let's get those eggs. And we're going to move 4 inches. Movement trays. Oh, so worth the money. <laughs> I agree. I've got dryads. Yes. And ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> 4 inches with these guys. Four inches. There we go. That's the movement phase. Now let's start the fun part. The shooting phase. <laughs> you could skip by that, I mean, if you wanted to. <laughs> Somehow I think you're trying to disadvantage me, <laughs> and I will not stand for it. First, let's start with the ships. Aether shock torpedoes into the dryads. Four aether shock torpedoes. Hitting on fours. Ooh. Ow. Shock torpedoes, wounding on threes. So, Aether Shock torpedoes are AP minus one. Okay. Uh, they, the 20 group of dryads has a bonus because of their numbers, so mm. that brings it to five plus. Mm. Save one. Save one. Okay, D3 damage. Three damage. Ow. Aether Matic Volley Can. Cannon. So, that's going to be 10 shots. Hitting on fours. Rerolling ones. Oh. Wounding on fours. <laughs> so that's two at minus one. All right, fives again. No. Two more. So, let's go with the carbines. Eight. Hitting on threes. 
Ooh. And not bad. For threes. Wounding on fours. Carbines are minus one, so. Fives again? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh not bad. Mm. That's a three. A three? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, one fail then. Mm hmm. Excellent. So, how many is left in the units? Uh. Well, it, that depends on how much damage that is. <laughs> That's one damage. Okay. Wait, I should probably say this. I forget, you can't read my mind. No. Or if you can, you're hiding it very well. Uh, let's see, I've got six, so there's 14 left. 14 left. All right. And I'm going to use my once per game ability. Uh-oh. Footnote, there's no trading with some people. I've done an unsaved wound, so I get to do an additional D3 mortal wounds. Ah, uh, okay. Ow! Ooh. Jeez. All right, down to 11 dryads. Yeah, that's it. Oh, good. For My that turn. shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, no. Let's go for some Thunderers. Starting with the rifle attacks. So, two rifles, one's a leader, so that's four rifle attacks. Hitting on threes into the dryads. Wounding on fours. Ooh, one at minus one. They still have enough numbers, surprisingly, so yeah. Yeah, you made it. All right, let's go with the uh, Choking Fog. That sounds friendly. Yep, so, and he is nine inches away, exactly. So, D3 attacks, two attacks, hitting on threes, wounding on a two, minus one. Five up. That's right. Oh, no. No, that and did that's not one do damage. Alright, down to ten. So, deck sweeper, d6 attacks. Six attacks. Hmm. Fours? Ooh. Oh, my. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and minus one. Alright, well, they have exactly ten, so I still have that bonus. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And let's go with the uh, cannon. So that's one shot. Is it this one now? No, no. This cannon right here. Oh, okay. Into oh my drive. goodness. Yes, Look at that oh, guy. it's a nasty cannon. Wow. It's a cannon. Hitting on four. No. <laughs> yes. Next go. Let's shoot some hot rivets. That does not sound nice to trees. Nine attacks. Hitting on threes. Oh, oh wow. wow, that's a lot of sixes. So that made up for all the... Uh... Yes. Wounding on fours. Oh, wow. Three at minus one. And, okay, there's still ten of them, so still fives. No fives. That's three damage altogether. I uh, can't save as well. I lost too many. So, save shot. Now, let's go with the chemist. Ten inches, so yes, that will allow him to attack in. 3d6 attacks. So that is ten attacks. Fours and fours. Ouch. And minus one. And now it's, I only need sixes. No sixes. Three more. I think what I'm going to do is... These guys need to start attacking into here. So, none of the pistols can get in. But the sky hook and the cannon, which is right here. Because he's taking it apart. To fire. So, one shot from the sky hook into these guys. Which one? Sorry, these ones? Into these ones right okay. here. One light skyhook, hitting on a four. Wounding on a three. And that's minus two. All right, um, then they need sixes, because they're ten man. Ooh, nope. It's D3. And that was three. Did you know that every single D3 you've got thus far has been three damage? I I've noticed. noticed. <laughs> I totally noticed. Okay. Right. Seven left. All right. So, 
cannon. Too far away for Aether Shot Carbines, but let's see if for once since I've had them, can they actually do some damage? Mm -hmm. This is the one that you keep missing on every game, isn't Literally. that right? <laughs> Four up. <laughs> I still love you. Not as much, but still. All right, to the frigate. Come on. You're my oldest ship. So we're going to fire into the Kurnoff Hunters. Let's go into that unit right there. All right. So heavy sky cannon. One attack, four up. And that is a hit. Two plus to wound. <laughs> All right, let's see. How far are we away? Okay, I can do some carbines. Four carbines. We roll all ones. Four up. Nada. I'm angry at dwarves. <laughs> He's going to shoot into him. Cannon. Four up. Two up. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You're not sorry. Don't lie to me. Well, actually, I was really curious how Godric Kernison would face off against the cannon. <laughs> It's mm. it feels nice when it's someone else for a change. Let's see, I, I can never hit on shooting with my Sylvanas. And see, check. See, we're more than twelve inches away. And yes, so no carbines for you. I'm just gonna call him the traitor. <laughs> Six shots from the skyhooks into them. Okay, I'm rolling. I'm also praying <laughs> to the almighty dollar. Threes. That's ah. one at minus two. Um, he's four plus, so I need sixes. Or one six. And that is not a six, which means the damage goes through. D3. Well, That's one. Actually... Well, yeah, it's one anyway, because if the damage inflicted by an attack is greater than one, it is one. <laughs> yes, that's right. Oh. And Gotrick has eight wounds, so he's down to seven. Oh, oh sorry. Actually, there's one other thing that Gotrick does. Ooh, what does um, Gotrick do? On a three plus, he negates the wound. He negates the wound. <laughs> You remember how he really wants to die, but uh, he can never die. <laughs> drop the axe, man! Drop the axe! <laughs> ah. Actually, I guess it's the shoulder plate of Adas is the one that apparently does it, according to this. But yeah, he's a big shoulder plate on his on his uh, shoulder. I've got shoulder plates, too. <laughs> on roll a dice each time you allocate a wound or mortal wound to this model. On a 3+, plus, that wound or mortal wound is negated. Yeah. So, I don't feel no pain. Whoop! I forgot these guys back here. Oh. What's Six. the range? 18 inches. I should measure that. <laughs> They're probably out. And they are. So they can't shoot. Oh well. On to the combat phase. 10 inches for them. 9 inches for them. But I really need to get rid of these guys. No. Uh... I guess just because I can, um, at the beginning of the uh, charge phase, my Kurnoth Hunters put up a thicket. Ah, cool. And... Church! Ooh, no. I'm gonna use my command uh, command point to re-roll those. Ouch. That's ten. So... It's gonna get them ten inches, so let's move you ten. Perfect. And that's all my charging, so... Since I'm going to pile in, and that's seven attacks I get. Hitting on threes. Wounding on twos. And that is four at minus two. Ouch. Well, they are five plus, so they can't actually uh, save against that. Oh, wow. Okay, and so that is four D3. Ouch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, there were seven left. <laughs> oh no. 
Ah, but I think you're within range of her, so she can... She should be able to. She's within three inches. She is within three inches. Hmm. Do your worst. Yeah. Pile in. And a tech deck. Uh, four plus then, three plus. Plus and three plus. Oh. Yeah, and that is no rend initially. Oh, that's a two. Uh, two damage. Two damage. Uh, bitter grub. He's uh, also attacking, and that's just one attack, four plus, and then four plus. Yep. Hit. And no. No luck. Well, I guess that's the end of combat. All right, so. I don't have a command point yet because it's not my turn. Darn. Which means they... <laughs> cannot do anything but fail their bravery. Yes. <laughs> they lost too many. I'll double check my bravery for them, but they cannot possibly fail. Okay. Okay, let's total up our victory points. So, three, three. four, and five. Uh, that means my go. Yes. With all of my dryads gone. You know, this feels like it's going to be um, a terrible, terrible game for me. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see. Maybe uh, Gotrick Gurnison will be the only one on the battlefield. Not that it'll matter because I actually need to do my objectives. Wow. Yes. You need bodies. Hero face. Well, yeah, I might as well do that first. So she's just going to do her unleash spites, which is a. Five. No. No. He shall put up a tree with his one time ability. Tree. Arcane bolt on that. Because he can. Mm -hmm. And that is his success. Okay. And I'm going to use Aether Sight Loop to attempt to unbind that. Oh, boo. <laughs> Movement. Tree Lord. Uh, he moves four inches. <laughs> yep, yeah, doors move four inches. Right, you'd be very familiar. Mm, they have stubby little legs. So I want to know is why this guy with this enormous set of legs only moved two inches more than him. Because he's lumbering. Mm. Um, these guys are going to uh, disappear and then come back. Right there, more than nine inches away. My slow cloak, aka my tree lord ancient. Moving five. Colonel Thunders also move five, so. Okay, so first he's gonna do his Doom Tendril Staff, which is two plus and three plus and always misses. Oh, okay. Oh, it hits. Oh my gosh, it hits, it hits, it hits. Uh, minus one rent. Okay, six up. No. D6 damage. Two. Two okay, damage. Okay, not bad. We're down to 12. The, these three Kurnoth Hunters are going in. Huntmaster hits on uh, three plus, the other two hit on four plus. And because of their glade, and they're right next to my hero, they get to reroll hit rolls of one. Like these guys. Mm. Okay, so five hits and three wounds. Rain minus one. Six ups. Two more wounds. Missing four. Oh, right. They do D3. But you're right. <laughs> they only do one damage each. Missing four. And now the other group of Kurnoth Hunters are doing the same thing. Mm. Oh, shoot. I have one too many dice here. How Ooh. did that happen? Let's try that again. She's cheating. <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> I got so much worse that time. Uh, two hits. Thank you to rerolling ones. I got Ooh. two hits. And one wound. Six up. Ooh. Oh my. That was so sad. The dice are punishing her for cheating. <laughs> and you had, so that brings you down to ten, right? Yes. He's going to shoot in with his uh, strangle roots, 12 inches, so he's in. Five attacks. Two plus to hit. Ooh. He is not a hero, and he's not within 12 inches of a hero, so he's not uh, re-rolling one, sadly. And three plus to wound. Ouch. No. One, that red minus one. Six up. No. How much damage? One damage. One damage. He's down to nine. That is everyone who can shoot. We go on to charge phase. He's going to try it. <laughs> there's no reason not to. Okay, it's a nine inch charge. Come on, gotcha. Seven. No, that didn't make it. Do I even? No, I don't want to use my command ability for this. Patrick, next time. And he is going to charge. Four. Right. Am I within six inches? I am within six inches. So, we'll be I contested. guess I'm... Oh, right. And he's not within six inches, is he? He's no. not. So, I do want to get in with him. So, I'm going to use my command um, point to try and reroll that. Yes. All right, he will charge in. They'll get like 12. Six. I think that's still just enough. I'm glad you're charging because I'm dropping bombs on you. <laughs> Literally. I believe it. Mm -hmm. I also like how this cannon is shooting right into his face now. It's a face blaster. And these guys are going to charge in. Six inches. Six. Six. Yep, so at least one gets in and mm -hmm. it counts. But just in exactly the formation that they currently are in. And at these guys. Mm -hmm. No. No. And now, before combat begins, I get to drop bombs on everybody who charged. <laughs> Let's go with the frigate first. Roll a dice. First for the tree lord. Four plus, he takes d3 mortal wounds. He does not. Kurnoff Hunters. Ooh, D3 Mortal Wounds. Two, Two. Mortal Wounds. Alright. They have four wounds each, correct? Five, actually. For the Gun Hunter. Four plus. D3 Mortal Wounds. Three Mortal Wounds. Oh. Twelve, three, so he's down to nine health left. Um, my True Lord Ancient and my True Lord each have a stomp, which is probably not affected by flyers. I've never actually had to look mm. at it before. Do -do 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 ground shaking stomp. No, it doesn't say anything about being not affected by. Um, really? So, yeah. Ground shaking stomp that somehow penetrates up into the air and knocks your uh, ship asunder somehow. So, that one. Games Workshop. Yes! He goes last. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one. He also goes last. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So they're last to go. I get to choose everyone first except for those guys. Yes. All right. So sh those two on them. Uh, first with our scythe. Step. Fail and... Yes, set. No rent. Four up. Do. Two damage. Oh, that's another one dead. Better grab. Yes, and no. Hitting on threes. Wounding on twos. Ouch. Minus two rend. Uh, she only has a save of five plus, I think. Yeah, five plus, so. D3. Ow. So that's six, seven, eight wounds. She does not have a <laughs> out. You got that side. <laughs> Success. You got that yes, side. Yes, I burned the witch. Now 
All I've got to really hope for is that for the rest of the game, it's only on this side that the objectives shift to. Yes. That'd be great. I think I might just like forfeit right off the bat if it goes to that. Yeah. Game. I don't see me pulling through after that. Um, right, so I guess the Kurnal Hunters are going to pile in. Aha. Fours and fours. However, the Quiverling is within range of the hero, so that one I get to reroll. Yes. Ooh. AP? Uh, no AP. Five up. No. How much damage? Just one damage each. All right. Brings him down to eight. eight. And now he is going to go. And he has sweeping blows first. Three sweeping blows. Three plus three plus. He is within range of himself. Three plus four wounds. Yay! Oh. And that is Rend minus one. Six ups. Come on, come on. Nada. <laughs> and that is D6 damage E. Uh-huh. Four. One, two, three, four. Yep. Um, puts him down to four. And now his massive impaling town. One attack, three plus, two plus. Oh, wait. Uh, no, he's not damaged. Okay. Uh, three plus, darn it. That's a miss. Going on to the Tree Lord. All right, Tree Lord sleeping blows is four plus, unless he is injured. Now it's three plus. Okay. Three plus. And then three plus. Yay! We have got Ren minus one. Six ups. All right, save one. D6 damage each. Three, five, five damage. Also brought him down to four. Mm. And now his massive impaling talent. Oh. Yes, he's not done. Uh, currently to wound is, th no, still two plus. So three plus then two plus. Oh, why, guys, why? Too bad. <laughs> I mean, for you, for me, it's actually quite nice. Grunstock gun, huh? Okay, let's go with D6 fragmentation charges. Six fragmentation charges. Oh. Perfect. Hitting on fours. Oh. Wounding on fours. Nothing. Good. And two bling valves. Fours and fours again. No rent. Plus. Whoa. Oh, makes it. Success. Now, we're going to go on to my heavily damaged Arcanaut frigates. Three bling valves. So that's three. Four ups. Okay, so that's two Sorry, and... Sorry, who are you attacking? <laughs> All right, uh, the Karnoth Hunters. So that is two, uh, no rend, one damage each. And they save on four plus. Both <laughs> well, goes through. And I don't believe we have any fragmentation charges, no. And that is combat. All right, so sadly, I don't get that one. No. Um, but I do get... This one, which is one victory point. Uh, now we roll four. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, there's no battle, battle shot. shot yeah. So we roll four initiative again. I have a three. You have a six. Good. Good. You get to go again. Oh, thank goodness. Maybe I can come back. Uh, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six. All right. Good. Yes. Hero phase. I only have one wizard left. Yeah, so he's just going to do 
Arcane Bolt on this one. Okay. <laughs> Just got it. Okay. I'll attempt to unbind. Really unbound. Yes. That is my hero phase. Next is going to be movement. Just to be outside of three inches. And Gotrick Gurnison making his way. And you guys might as well make your way to be just outside of three inches. Now, shooting. Um, this guy shooting with his strangle roots. Uh, now that he is down to nine, his strangle roots are three plus. So five attacks, three plus. Um, don't think he's. He definitely doesn't look. Yeah, he's not holding within twelve inches. So we're good. So not no real rolling. And three plus. Yay! Red minus one. Okay. Into the ship. Six up. No, no. Down to two. You're gonna pop my balloon. I'm hoping to, yeah. These Kurnoth Hunters are going in here. Mm -hmm. Huntmaster hits on threes, the others hit on fours. Uh, they do get to reroll ones. Well, well, guys. That's one. Okay, that's them. <laughs> and the Tree Lord Ancient is going to do his Doom Tendril Staff. Mm -hmm. uh, still on that balloon. Rerolling ones. Hit and wound. Yay! Mm. Run minus one. Six up. And yep. that is D6 damage. Come on. Two damage. Down to two. Down to two. Just whittle away at them. These Kurnoth Hunters are going to shoot at those guys. Okay. Like that. Yes. Sample. Yeah. Two hits. And one. Six up. Is quite not a six. D3 damage. Three damage. Three. Ooh, there we go. That is the end of shooting. Next is charging. Um, these guys are going to put up a thicket. Okay. It, uh, now they can't move more than one inch mm -hmm. uh, now, but uh, they now re roll their save rolls. Very nice. Smart plan. These guys are going to attempt to charge in. Six, yes, they're only within, they're only out three inches, so they should definitely be able to go in. Mm -hmm. Gotrick Gurnison is attempting again. Mm -hmm. Yes! And he's in. He makes it this time. These guys are going in as well, just in case everyone else misses, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're in. They'll make it. There's gonna be a bomb, is there? <laughs> yes. Bomb the traitor. He takes D3. He takes one mortal wound. Oh, uh, on a three plus, he uh, ignores that. He no. Does not. Seven wounds. All right. Now we go with the revenants. No. They did not charge. So the Kurnoth hunters charging into my medium boat. Nothing. Now, for my beginning of combat, he is doing his stomp. Nope, your uh, ship is not affected by his stomp. Mm -hmm. And the True Lord Ancient is doing his stomp. And he is affected, so he will be going last. Yes. And uh, since he is going last, I'm going to choose one of these guys. <laughs> uh, Gotrick Grunison, just so I can fight him as much as possible. Come on, Gotrick. Gotrick Gurnison has six attacks, three plus, three plus. 
and three plus. <laughs> oh no. Uh, red minus two. Into the ship. So that is, no, that just goes through. Three damage. And the ship is gone. And I guess that's combat for them. These guys are going to go ahead first. Mm -hmm. uh, that's nine attacks. Fours and fours. Uh, Rerolling these ones. Fours. No rent. Five up. One damage, Ooh. down to one. Down to one. All right, the other Kurnoth Hunters. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Five up. No. Ah, they did it. Oh, and the ship is gone. Let's see if anybody dies. Oh, it explodes, is it? Uh, it doesn't explode, but the people on there... For what, everyone, someone has to die. Everyone lives. Bummer. We'll just go right here. And here. And of course, right here. And there we go. So that would be the end of combat and then the end of my turn because we don't have to worry about battle shot. I do, because I lost three guys. Oh, so you do. But I'm going to use command point for insane bravery. Okay. Because they have very little bravery. All right, that means I get one, two, three, four, which ties me five to five. Mm -hmm. And that is, now it's your turn, round two. Okay, hero phase. He is augmenting their sky hooks. He is going to augment their rifles. He's going to allow everyone to re-roll ones, or all my ships to re-roll ones. Nice. And by all, I mean the two of them that are <laughs> left. <laughs> I'm not bitter. That's a lie. I'm very bitter. Oh, sorry. I was just ogling all of my dryads over there off the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying again? <laughs> I was being sad because I lost two models. <laughs> I'm going to allow... I'm going to use my hero phase... Once per term, uh, once per game ability, uh, there's always a breeze when you look for it. He can move in the uh, movement phase. So he can move a total of 12 inches. Doesn't he? Or I mean, move in the hero <laughs> phase. Okay, yes, say. everybody can move in the movement phase. <laughs> like, what does he normally do? <laughs> so 12 inches will put him right by the wood. That's all my hero phase, so let's continue with the movement phase. Let's move him another 12 inches. At this point, though, I'm, I'm quite happy that your dwarves only move 4 inches. <laughs> no wonder they've got ships. Mm-hmm. Because they got stuffy little legs. Fat in their ballers. Actually, I think I can't do that. Go airborne. These guys are going to move 4 inches. These guys will move four inches as well. He'll also move his four inches just to get up there. This one's going to run. So that's a total of 14 inches. And actually, no, I'm going to put him right here. So nobody can see him and shoot at him. Oh. He's good. Just want him to be three inches out. Right. Exactly three inches out. Perfect. Before I finish the movement phase, I don't want to forget about these guys. There we go. And they're moved. So, shoot. Hitting on a four plus, re rolling ones. Two shots, carbines. Ooh, hit. Wounds. 
AP minus one. Ouch. Into them. Four, so five. Uh, one, one save, one fail. One damage? Okay. Yeah. So one of them is now down to two wounds. Let's go with a drill cannon from the Skywards. Into him. Drill cannon, one attack. Hitting on a four. That does not hit. So next we're gonna go with the Atomatic Wally Gun. Six attacks. Hitting on fours. Wounding on fours. AP minus one. Five. No. One damage each. Uh, Alright, that kills him. Oh, we got one dead. Vulcanizer pistol. One shot. Hitting on three plus. Nothing. Let's go to the Admiral. That guy. Right here. And the he's going to shoot with his volley pistol. That's three attacks. Hitting on three pluses. Oh. Wounding on a four plus. Nothing. Let's go over to the Thunderbirds. Unless they're flying, that uh, that tree, the trees that you're they're looking through are yeah. meaning that anyone on the other side is invisible to them. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So I guess no shooting for but them. But anyone who can fly can still see, but anyone who can't fly can't see. Okay, so all of these, none of these guys here can shoot. But let's go with the boat. Boat, boat, boat. <laughs> okay. Everything into the Karnoth Hunters there. So, let's start with the Aethermatic Volley Cannon. That's ten shots. Hitting on fours, wounding on fours, minus one rend. Ouch. Four at minus four. Or minus one. <laughs> God. Oh, that would be so nice. I'm glad that the... And, and GW. Yeah, right. Uh, I can only think of keen clawed um, griffs that can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Right. So, five. One's eight. That's three. Three damage? Okay. Yes. All right. So, this guy is down to two health. Excellent. Make their shock torpedoes. Four. Hitting on fours, so we're rolling ones. Wounding on threes. Ouch. Three at minus one. Five. Oh. Ooh, nice. D3. One. Good. <laughs> Those two guns, we have eight carbines. Threes and fours. Three rolling ones. Yes. Ooh. Four up. Ooh. Three at minus one. Come on, five. No. Nope. Three damage. And that takes him out and brings the other one down to three health. Mm. Yes, first six shots here into these. Hitting on fours. Wounding on threes. Minus two rend. Minus two. Well, they save on five, so... That just all goes through. D3 damage. Out. Three, four, and five. Uh, uh. That's the unit. <laughs> That's the unit. Bye bye, guy. Mm -hmm. 3D, let's see. That should be 10 inches out from Gotrick. Yep. Yeah. So. 3D6. Let's choke him with poison. Let's see if poison will kill you. That's 10 attacks. 6. 10 attacks. 4s. Not bad. 4s. That's two at minus one. Come and on. got it, right? Yep. And he was four plus, so fives. <laughs> of course. 
Why won't you die? <laughs> the only thing to do here now is charge my Admiral. Getting a seven. And now everyone else gets to add one to their charger rolls. Uh -oh. Going to charge. They got six. And because he successfully charged, he gets... It's now a seven. Cool. Alright. Are you attempting to stay out of three inches of my other guys? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I might be. <laughs> Charge into the traitor. <laughs> that is a fail, I would imagine. Yes. I'm going to use command point, I believe, to attempt to reroll that. That's a six. six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> That's a fail on them. Oh, good. Let's tempt him to charge. That is Nine. not a fail. Probably shouldn't have done that. But, oh well. That's my combat phase. Or that's the charge phase. So, we're gonna roll a d6. Six plus. The Admiral takes three wo d3 wounds. By the Awakened Wildwood and no. No. Okay. Wounding on a two. <sighs> now you may attack. And now, yeah, he's going to do sweeping blows with those guys. Um, and not get in the way of the Colonel Hunters coming in. Three dice, three plus, three plus. A re rolling one. Yep. Ooh. And threes. Oh. At run minus one. Five up. No, how much damage? D6 damage. Oh. Three damage. Oh. Shaza. Alright, so that was their attacks? That was him, yep. Okay. Pile in. Would be a good idea. Okay. You ran away from my Colonel Thunders. <laughs> yeah. Almost as if that was part of the plan. First, so the uh, Sky Pikes. Wounding on fours. Wounding on three. Rend minus one. Rerolling fails. Ooh, no. D3 damage. It's two. Down to one. Down, down, to, down to one. one. Alright. And now, one attack with the gun butt. Hitting on four. Wounding on a five. No. Now the, he definitely doesn't need to go yet, though I suppose there's no harm because he has to go less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll go now, just to, and he'll just attack these two guys. Okay. And by him, I mean his little quiverling is going fours and four. Nothing. No. <laughs> All right. Now, did you? Move out of the way from Garchik Gurnison! Yes. Yes! <laughs> and so him with his sweeping blows, he's down to nine, so he's got three sweeping blows. Three plus. And three plus. Ooh. At Ren minus one. That's five up. Nothing. D6 damage each. Five. Five. And he's dead. Uh, I did lose, so he did lose two of his allies in the one turn. I don't think he'll be able to fail, but... Let's do that. No. No. And... Everybody I lost is either completely dead, or they cannot fail. Okay. Alright, so, I'm, I get one point here. No points there. No points there. All right, on to initiative. Mm. Round three. Two. Oh no! Oh no! Double Darn it! Turn. A double turn. We both had double turns. I suppose it's fair. Yes. Except for this very bad. <laughs> yes. Hero phase. Everybody gets to reroll. Our ships get to reroll ones. 
Let's see. I am very glad that I put that tree right in the middle there. Since the wildwood is in the way, I just gotta spend its whole turn positioning everybody here. So, Thunderers are gonna run. They're gonna go move a total of six inches. And let's run the chemist. He's gonna go eight inches. And run these guys. Seven inches. And these guys are also gonna move up, run. They're going six inches. There we go in there. And my Andrin Rigger here, who's been hiding out, he is gonna move, so he is just three inches outside here. Excellent. And these guys are gonna move up four inches. Oh, we gotta figure out which objective is the new one. Oh, yes, that's right. Should have done that, but one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Yours. Ouch. Yes, mine. So, now with movement, let's commence with shooting. Everything is gonna go into the Tree Lord from the ship. Tree Lord or Tree Lord Ancient? Tree Lord Ancient, okay. yes. The big boy. Ten shots. Heading on fours. Rerolling ones. Fours again. That is three at minus one. He ignores minus one. So three plus. Fail one. One damage. Down to eleven. Down to eleven. Four Aether Shock Torpedoes. Four and three. Eight carbine shots. Three and fours. Five at minus one. Ignoring minus one. So three plus. Two fails. That's one damage each. Down to nine. And that's it for his shooting. Let's go with my other remaining ship. He's going to shoot into them as well. Four plus, hitting on re-rolling ones. Don't be a two or a three. Two plus. Yeah. AP a minus two. That he doesn't ignore, so five plus. No. D6. Ouch. <laughs> and it's a one. All right, down to eight. Down to eight. He's within 12 inches, two carbine shots. Threes and fours. Four. AP minus one. Ignoring the AP. Fails anyway. Takes the damage. Down to seven. Admiral's gonna shoot into him. Into the... Karnoth Hunter. Okay. Because they're in combat. So that is, I believe, three attacks. With his volley pistol. Heading on threes. Wounding on fours. Nothing. Good. Okay. Let's go with the drill cannon on this guy, or the sky warden. So, one drill cannon shot. Who's the sky warden attacking? He's attacking the Karnoth Hunter because okay. they're in combat okay. with each other. Nice. And wounding on a three. No. Oh, lucky Karnoth Hunter. Vulcanizer pistol into the. Same hunter. Three up. Three up. AP minus one. Ah, uh, fives. No! Oh, and he only had one health left, so he, he is gone. Did. They shot, 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 shot. Everybody shot, shot, <laughs> shot. Shooting into the Tree Lord. So, first, three with the Skyhooks. Hitting on fours. Wounding on threes. Oh, no. <laughs> and how many are within range of some pistols? Everybody's within range of pistols. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shots. And these are actually hitting on threes because that's a hero or a monster. A rule I've been forgetting. 
two. Wounding on fours. No rend. Three plus. Ooh. One fail. One fail, one damage. Brings him down to eight. And he's going, from him, he's going to fire into your tree lord ancient. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Ouch. AP minus one. So, ignoring AP. Oh, no, two fails. Oh. And so that is two damage each. Brings him down to three health. Mm. All right, so that is the entirety of my shooting phase. Let's get charging. So, I'm going to charge my engine rigger into yep. your Tree Lord Ancient. Oh, um, as always, the uh, in case you go after them, the Kurnath Hunters are putting up their thicket. Yes. So, you guys are going moving seven inches. Perfect. Now, let's charge in. I, at the beginning of combat, I do stomp stomp. Okay, so let's try it stomp. He's going to stomp, which means one to three different units. So the furthest... The Endrin Rick? Mini balloon. <laughs> yes. He's going last. Going last. The other two. Yes, going last. And the little guy. Your... Admiral. Admiral. Going last. Oh, wow. I mean, that they are the only ones in combat. Pretty much. But so, just really just means you guys can go in, first. Yeah, I'm just stealing it. All right. Tree Lord Ancient, so his sweeping blows have been reduced down to one, sadly. Mm. Uh, so he's just going to go in all in on this one. That would be the smart plan. So, one, three plus, and three plus. So red minus one. Five up. Oh. Darn it. He makes it. And then his massive impaling talons is currently three plus followed by three plus. Ooh. Okay. Three plus. Uh, Ooh. Oh wait, no, he gets to reroll. Yes. Four plus. Good. And then the wound is also three plus. Come on. Uh, massive Paleo Talon, red minus two. Six up. No. Oh, good. Uh, oh, it only does one damage. <laughs> okay. One damage. Left. Two attacks. With the saw. Into the Tree Lord Ancient. Hitting on threes. Both of those hit. Wounding on twos. Both of those wound. AP minus two. Ouch. Oh, five plus. One fail. D3 damage. Don't get a five or six. That's Two. one damage. Ooh. Oh, yeah, one. Pile in a bit. Sky Pike. Two attacks because it's the leader. No, three attacks actually. Four ups. Ooh. Three ups. Ooh, nothing. And yeah, let's go. Admiral. Come on, buddy. Two attacks. Rerolling ones, because that's a hero and a monster. Three up. Two up. Hit and wound rolls. Perfect. AP minus two. Come on. Fives. No. Two damage each. Down he goes. He <sighs> took him out. Oh, so sad. Mm, and more importantly, I get, well, I suppose as importantly, mm -hmm. you know, four to my three. Yes. Well, actually five to mm -hmm. my three. Damn. Nine to five. Oh, falling back. I need, I need it to be that one next mm. round. That would, that would be great. You really do. Because right now it's there, so I, even on my turn, I'm hopefully going to get two more points, bringing me to seven. You'd still be up by two. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I really need to get it to be that one. Yes. But I have ideas. Uh, well, hero phase is rather sad because I've got no heroes left. No. Well, that can do anything in the hero phase. So, movement. 
I think the Colonel Hunters are content where they are. As are those two. I mean, he'd really like to run out and get um, mm. a- and go after them, but that would not be wise, so I'm not going to do it. So in shooting phase, he will shoot upon them with his strangle root. Five attacks, three plus, three plus. Three plus. Oh, oh and I don't have heroes to... Alright. Yes. And that is... Oh, I don't know what the red is on that. Yeah, red minus one. Six ups. Alright. Mm, one goes through. One damage. Colonel Thunters are going to... I'll just go all in on him to make certain I get him. Alright, Huntmaster and non-Huntmasters, threes and fours. Yes! Not bad. Except for that one. And... Uh, three plus. So, four at Ren minus one. Five ups. Great. Oh wow, he's very dead. Mm-hmm. Now, that's the end of shooting. They are going to charge in. And Nine. Nine. Good. Nine has gives me lots of room, so... Off we go, over here. And they will go first mm-hmm. and attack all in on those ones. Okay. Fours and fours. That's really sad. That is sad. <laughs> I mean, like, it's good for me, but I actually physically feel bad for you. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's, that's that's really sad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> oh, honey. My Admiral's gonna go first. Two attacks. These aren't heroes or monsters. No, nope, they're just sad. Sad, sad. <laughs> Girl, Threes. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh no, they don't get to reroll ones. Mizzen, okay. Sky Wardens. Three attacks with the spears. Four ups. Three ups. Nothing. I, I spread it around. The Kurnoth Hunters are spreading their misfortune. And one gun butt. Four up. Nothing. And that is the charge fit. That is the combat phase, I do believe. Uh, yes, it is. Sadly, I just needed to take out one guy. One guy. Well, I guess one guy to uh, contest it, really. Uh, no, I still have it. No, I mean, that's why I mean oh, yeah. one guy to contestant. I really wanted to take up two guys, and the Colonel Thunder should have been able to do that. No. Oh, well. So that gives you one point. Mm-hmm. Puts me to six to your nine. Yes. And that's the end of round three. Three, yes. So, first, let's pick the objective. Yep, yeah, just, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six. It is that one over there. You might, might have it. a chance. Yes, you do. Now, I'd be an even better chance if I won this initiative. Come on, high number. Oh, why do I keep rolling twos? <laughs> oh, so that's going to be Jason going. So, hero phase. Everybody gets to re-roll ones. And let's augment their rifles from the Thunderers. And let's go movement phase. So, yes, they can see them once they get up to the door. Technically, I think they can see them now, but let's just double check. One, two, three, four. These guys are going to stay where they are so they can remain on that objective. Move them up four there. That's their movement. He's a fast little ship. These guys are gonna move four. Perfect. That's their movement there. They're staying. They're staying there. And they moved. Begin mm-hmm. shooting phase. Yeah, they moved. Three shots into him. Hitting on threes. Because he's a hero. Ooh. Yeah. Wounding on threes. 
AP minus two. Mm. Uh, fives. Oh. Yay. And D three. Three H damage. D five. five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots. In pistol shots. Into the tree lord. Hitting on threes. And this is gonna be wounding on fours. Ouch. Ooh. Four, no rend. Three plus. One fail. One damage. Cannon into him. Four rerolling ones. Two plus. AP minus two. Uh, five plus. No. D6 damage. Ow. One, thank goodness. Oh my. Down to three. Turbine shots. Fours. Nothing. Shooting into with the three volley pistol shots into the Karnoth Hunters from the Admiral. Okay. Three up. Ooh. Nice. Four up. AP minus one. Ah, uh, so fives. Ouch. One damage each. They weren't damaged no. yet, so one is down to three. Thank you. Perfect. Drill cannon. Four up. Nothing. Vulcanizer pistol. Three up. Nothing. That's their shooting. Uh, now I'm going to have to check some ranges. 23 inches. So. Aether shock torpedoes are going into him. Ouch. All the remaining weapons into them. Four attacks. Hitting on fours, rerolling ones. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wounding on threes. Nothing. So, it's going to be ten attacks into them. Ten attacks. Hitting on fours, wounding on fours, ran to minus one. Rend minus one. Uh, five plus. Ooh. Well, that's nice. One damage. Uh, brings that guy down to... Two. Two. And now let's go with eight carbine shots. Threes. We're rolling ones. Fours. That is three at minus one. Fives. Oh, well. You got them all. Thank you, Luck. That's it for the ship. I should have 18-inch range on my guns. Yes. So they can see through here into them. So, two rifles. Hitting on threes. Ooh. Wounding on fours. Minus two, or no, minus one. Five. Ooh. Nope. Three damage. That takes him out and wounds another. They'll wound the one over there. That's right, because that's the leader guy. Yeah. And that is my shooting phase. I think... No, just combat. So... Three pike attacks into the Karnoth Hunters. Hitting on fours. Wounding on three. Uh, minus one, so fives. Ooh, Yay! Makes it. Gun butts. Four plus. Five plus. Nothing. Colonel Hunters. All right, fours and fours. A little bit better than that. <laughs> and one. Okay. No run. Four up. Oh, no. Yay! All right, and now he gets to go up. Two attacks, threes, twos. If he minus two, uh, minus two, so I need sixes. No. Four damage in total. Ow. Let's get this guy. 
And that is all my combat. So, uh, so he'll have to roll a hit. It's unlikely that he'll fail, but maybe. No. No. He's good. No battle shock. Good. And no battle shock for me because he won't. He can't fail. So let's total them up. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm at fourteen. Fourteen to my six. Um. Okay. Let's. All right. Nice. And we're at. So if I if I take that back. Yes. Um, and masterfully kill off your guys so that <laughs> there's only one Kurnoth on Toilet, mm -hmm. I would get four, which put me to ten. And then the next turn would be the last turn. Yes. If we get this one again, I get three, you get those two. So that would bring you to sixteen with my Three, I'd be at 13, so even if I was super lucky, I would not get up to where you are. So, you win. <laughs> Good game. Good game. <laughs> and Once again, capitalism wins. <laughs> Screw the environment. Suck it, Mother Nature. <laughs> Congratulations on your win. <laughs> Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. Oh, it... it I thought I was going to lose there at some point. Those Karnoth Hunters, I hate them so much. I am so sad that they couldn't have done more. Ah, uh, and I can't believe that you took out my Dryads the very first turn. Mm. Before they got to do anything, before they even moved. Yes. They were gone. Yes. <laughs> I brought them down like the Amazon Rainforest. Ah, uh, well, if I had gone first, I think it would have been a lot different. Yes. It would have been different. Or if we had, uh, or if the double turns hadn't happened. Uh, yep. Well, I, I got the first initial double turn, which brought me back up to being even, but then when you got a double turn and just was just all those shooting, oh my gosh. Yes, at that point the rich get richer. <laughs> and I'm glad I managed to do a whole two damage with my gun hauler. That's right. a first. That's, so we got, we're able to get a record of it, yep. finally. <laughs> so, you know, upward momentum. We're, we're getting there, we're getting... Now I fly back to the sky fort, rich with treasure. And the traitor can go suck. It. Oh right, okay. <laughs> He's left behind. Mm -hmm. He's still alive, but everyone else has, has perished. Basically. Oh my god, that's basically his life. Oh, it's sad. He can't die. <laughs> no, yeah, that's right. He's and he didn't lived. even get to kill anybody. Wait, no. Um, that's he did take out your ship. He was the yes. one who took out your ship to, to did the last. Yes, he took out the gun hauler. Yep, did that last blow. <laughs> oh well. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming and having a game with me at 2,000 points, which I was happy for. Mm. Uh, we're going to have to have a rematch, maybe against some ghosts. Ooh. Mm. Eh, I don't care. I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> Come on. Um, as always, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more <laughs> Age of Sigmar battle reports and other wargaming material. And thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, YouTube.